you can stand on the board. And we're going to go over the three main ones that people use. The first one is what we have here, which is essentially a parallel stance. My feet are together. As far as the width is concerned, they're all the way out to the sides. When you're looking at me sideways on the board, they're completely parallel like this. And basically, I'm about centered on the board. That is a standard paddling stance. The advantage of this stance is that you can paddle on both sides equally well. Okay? a wave or something and it knocks you, you're going to fall backwards or forwards and there's no control over the board. The other stance is what's called the surface stance. Now the surface stance, as you can imagine, is basically, you get back up here, the surface stance, as you can imagine, is quite simple. What that does is you stand in this sort of position on the board and that gives you a lot of forward and back control. This is actually a very good position for boofing drops and things like that. The problem with this stance is that you have no control this way and that way. So you end up bracing a lot. In this position, you have a lot of control. Like this, if you want to boof drops, you can boof and land. Very easy like this. So a nice control this way. and the one that is my personal preference and the one that I use most of the time is what I call the Kung Fu stance. And basically, it comes from what they teach in Aikido and things like that. Like the parallel stance, but you move one foot back, the other foot forward. Basically like this on the board. You keep your knees bent, your hips forward, and the advantage of this stance like this is that I have the forward and back control that I need and the side to side control that I need. So from here, position this one. The problem with this stance is it's a lot harder to switch sides because now I'm paddling on my closed side as opposed to paddling on my open side. So I generally paddle on one side only when I'm on the board. I don't tend to switch very often. But you can do it if you want to, you can switch. So I can do this. When you go over a drop, you can come into the drop, you can take your boof stroke, and as you land, you can drop knee, you have three points of contact, very stable position. From here, you can keep paddling in this position, and you can stand back up. Now, generally in SUP, you're gonna move around a lot on the board. It's one of the advantages of something like this over, for example, a canoe or things like that, where you can move around a lot on the board. So I'll paddle like this on the flat sections because I can change sides, I can come back. Then when I get into a harder section, you change your feet. If I go to a drop, I can go into a boost position. And when you change, you do like a little bit of a jump so that you can get your weight lifted. Because if you just try and move a foot, the board goes on its edge. But you can, you can obviously walk on the board like this but if you're not on a stable board like mine, then you're better off doing a little jump, little jump, 
and you can move around like this on the board. So that's the stance of an SUP. See you next time.